All right, so it's no surprise that I'm a fan of featureless rifles when it comes to making your AR-15s, your AKs, that kind of gun, California compliant with the assault weapon ban laws. And I've been getting a lot of people asking me what my favorite grip is or how I like to set my guns up. Now, when it comes to featureless, everything's pretty easy to make compliant or to modify. The hardest hurdle that you're gonna have to jump is gonna be the pistol grip. Now, on this gun, you can see that I don't have a pistol grip on it. And I talked about this gun in specific in my lightweight AR-15 build, but we're gonna talk about the grips that I like, the three of them that are very similar, but different, and talking about them in depth. Before I get into this specific grips, I wanna say that I'm gonna be giving away one of these grips once this video gets 100 likes. Just like, comment, let me know that you liked it, and I'll be choosing randomly one person out of the comments to actually give away this one of these grips to. Before we jump into the grips, I wanna talk about why I choose this style of grip over the others. If you look at this grip here, you'll notice that I'm still able to wrap my thumb around it and get a good solid grasp on it. This is gonna allow me to use this gun one-handed in a way that's not going to slip out of my hand due to a lack of ergonomics and a lack of grasp on the gun. I think this is very important. The fin grips, the kydex wraps, all kinds of other grips like that. I'm not a fan simply because you cannot wrap your hand around it well enough. And it's simply not designed to be gripped that way. It's a workaround as opposed to a purposeful solution, which I believe this style of grip is. When we jump down into the tabletop portion of this, comparing the three grips, we're going to be talking about the Sparrow Dynamics, the Featureless Arms Liberal Grip, and the Resurgent Arms Grip. These three grips are all very similar, and I've had a lot of people ask me which one's my favorite, what do I like the most, so I went out and bought with my own money one of each, even though I didn't really need all three. I wanted to kind of get a better idea of what I thought was the best or my personal opinions on them, because they may not be the best for everyone. So when we jump down into the tabletop review, we're going to be talking solely on physical characteristics of them, and then when I jump back up, I'm going to be talking about what I actually like or dislike about them and how I choose to set up my rifles and which ones I would rather have on all of my guns. So we're at here at the bench. We're going to be looking at three grips, the resurgent arms, the featureless arms and the sparrow dynamics. The three of these grips are all very similar, but slightly different. And I wanted to give you time to see them all with their own characteristics, their specs, what they look like, what they feel like, and give you a better idea of the small comparisons before I jump into the top side where I talk about my opinion of them. So starting with the Resurgent Arms, this can be had for about $45. It's approximately four and three quarters by three and three quarters, that's an estimation, in size. It has a little bit of a texturing to it, not so much that it's gonna be aggressive on the hands, but not so little that you're gonna drop. It also has a little bit more of an ergonomically designed shape with a small hump on either side. This is designed as a thumb shelf, allowing you to grip it like so, or wrap over the top, in which case your thumb fits in that groove there, or over the top right here. This, in my opinion, I really like the company. When they were designing this product, they went through multiple iterations and on Reddit and on social media, they were posting all about it, letting people know the design process, how far along they were, what they were doing to change it and update it. So I really like that they were very upfront about the materials, the cost and what it's gonna be like. So good company, I like them. On the inside here, you're not gonna be able to see this, but it has a small lettering that says shall not be infringed, which them being a company that supports California and the fight against gun laws, I really like. I think it's a cool little homage to the Second Amendment that's a little bonus feature. Very subtle branding on the rear, not something that's super in your face. It's not gonna distract you, not gonna be very attention grabbing, but subtle enough to get the job done. Just wanna give you a little close up on that checkering if you can see it. The texture is a little bit more aggressive on the front and the top and where your thumb sits right here. This is to allow you to have a better grip in the areas that matter. I've never had an issue of this slipping or falling out of my hands, which is one of the main benefits that these style of grips offer over a fin grip. So now that we're moving on to the Sparrow Dynamics, let's get a quick measurement of that. At about four and a half by three and a half to three and three quarters, this grip is a similar size to the other options in this category. It has a strong 
but subtle at the same time texturing on the sides that allows you to easily grasp it, get a good palm weld into it. It also has light strapping over the top and under the rear. Hollow on the inside so it's lightweight just like the other options. Installs like a normal pistol grip just like the other two. The feel of this is a little bit more chunky. It's a little bit more girthy all around while the resurgent is a little bit more ergonomic and shapely. This one I like, it's got a good feel to it, easily allows me to wrap my thumb around the side as a primary means of using it or over the top without getting in the way. This one has the shape to it that allows it to more force your fingers into a certain spot, which is good. But this one goes a different route by allowing it to just kind of be a brick. This is more of the Glock. This is more of the XD in terms of ergonomics. The Sparrow Dynamic can be had for about $35 and gets and comes in black, flat dark earth, OD green, and gray currently as far as what they have on the website. All the colors you might need. If you really need a different color than that, you're gonna to wanna to get it Cerakoted anyway. So the Sparrow Dynamics and the Resurgent are now done. We're gonna move on to the Liberal Grip by Featureless Arms. Now, this one's gonna get style points for the name, whereas the Resurgent might have gotten style points for the homage to the Second Amendment. So style points for this simply because the name, the liberal grip. Obviously this was made to combat gun laws passed by democratic leaders in our, in our state, in our country. Putting politics aside, let's talk about this actual grip just for a second. So moving on to the actual texturing and the fit and finish. Similar style of rough but smooth at the same time grips on the side panels, straps on the front that give you a little bit more grip on the fingers, and it kind of strikes a middle ground in terms of ergonomics between the two, where the Sparrow went for that chunkiness and that girthiness, and the Resurgent Arms went for that ergonomics and shapeliness. This one kind of strikes a fine balance in between. It's good enough in terms of just chunkiness, but also shaped well enough in terms of smoothness, smoothness and ergonomicness that it feels good in most people's hands. It's a little bit wider in the rear. If we compare that here and compare that here, it's a little bit wider at the butt end of it. So it's a little bit wider at the butt end and a little bit taller overall. So if size is a concern, which I'm not sure why it would be, but if size is a concern, this is something to take into consideration. Now the liberal grip can be found in flat dark earth or black, normally at around 35 bucks, but right now they're running it for 29, so they are on sale often. At the lowest price point in this bracket, I think it's a great option. However, the others are similarly priced at 45 and 35 dollars respectively. They typically also run blemish sales, in which case I would recommend picking up a blem. But moving past that, we're gonna jump on up. Now that we've talked about the specifics of the sizes, we're gonna jump up. So. We've jumped back up after talking about the characteristics. Now let's talk about which ones I actually like the most. So coming in at number three, my least favorite of the bunch is gonna be the Resurgent Arms Grip. This one for me, I feel just doesn't quite fit right in my hand. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the design, the characteristics of it, how it feels. There's no usability issues that I've noticed with this. It's not breaking. It's handled just fine on this AR-10 and my AR-15s. The issue that I have with it is it, the ergonomic design of this simply doesn't mesh well with my hand when I go to wrap it around the gun. When I use it without wrapping my thumb, it sits nicely in this little shelf that we talked about earlier. So it sits, boom, perfectly, fits in my palm well. But when I go to wrap it around, it causes a pressure point on both sides of the gun. On my fingertip when I wrap around and on the side of my palm that wraps from the right side of the gun. All in all, I think it's a great grip. However, it's the most expensive of the bunch at 45 bucks. And it just doesn't quite fit right for me. However, I've heard many people say that they really like the ergonomics. So maybe if you have a different sized hand, it might be good for you. However, you're gonna wanna get a feel for it if you're uncertain beforehand. Now, the next one that we're gonna be talking about, my second favorite is gonna be this Liberal Grip by Featureless Arms. Now, Featureless Arms was kind enough to send one out to me 
way, way back, back when I was still working at a gun shop and we wanted to get an idea of whether or not we wanted to stock it. They sent one out, was super cool about it, made a video on why I liked it, took some photos, cool. Cool guys are the owners. Um, I've talked to them a couple times, they're nice. I really do like this grip. I bought a second one with my own money for the purpose of this video, just so there wasn't any inherent bias with that. This one fits my hand well. It's There's something about it when I grab into it, it sits properly. I feel as if I'm grabbing a normal pistol grip or as close to a normal pistol grip as I can. It's inherently gonna feel weird, but this is the most comfortable for me. When I was shooting it for long periods of time, I didn't find an issue with my wrist angle, but with some of the other grips, I kind of noticed a little bit of discomfort. This one, very much, I like it. It's usually available for about 25 to 28 bucks if you get a blemished one, and a blemish on a grip, something that you might be beating around or dropping or scratching up or using often, really not a big deal. If there's a scratch on it, who cares? These are guns, they're gonna get scratched eventually, right? If you're shooting off enough. So all in all, I really do like this grip. It's the cheapest of the bunch typically, and it's a nice grip. Feels good on the hand. I can wrap my hand like this. However, it is superior when it's like the, when you wrap your thumb around. When you're not wrapping your thumb around, there's not quite enough girth to it to really, for me, get a good solid grasp on it compared to some of the other grips that we've talked about. So for me, I like it but it's not the best. So my favorite grip out of the bunch. This is a small difference, but enough for me to consider it my personal favorite, the Sparrow Dynamics. This grip fits all the categories that I want. It's got a good feel to it. It's grippy. I can get my thumb around it. It's comfortable to run it without my thumb around it. I feel like I get a better grip than the Featureless Arms grip just because it's a little bit chunkier, it's a little bit girthier. It's a little bit more of a thick boy, if you know what I mean. This grip runs for about 35 bucks typically. I like it, it's reasonably priced for, when you look at other competition for compliant or non-compliant options, it's reasonably priced, it's comfortable in the hand for me, it's got a good weight to it. Other people that I've had shoot all three of these, they've all kind of gravitated towards this one or towards the Resurgent Arms. People that liked the Resurgent Arms typically liked it, and they typically tended to have smaller hands than me. I usually wear a size large or XL in gloves. Long fingers. If you have smaller hands, you might find that the Resurgent Arms fits better. But for me personally, Sparrow Dynamics, all day, every day, my opinion, the best that I can get. So we've covered the specifics about them. We've covered some of the characteristics and comparing them to each other. And we've covered what I feel is the best. Now. Again, this is just my opinion. My hands, my body, the shape of everything that I've got going on might be different than you and it might cause you to like or dislike some of these more. I'd love to have a discussion in the comment section below. Again, if you like and comment on this video, you will be entered in order to get a giveaway of one of these grips of your choice for free, paid for by me. So let's have a conversation about what you think is the best. If you've tried some of these and if you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it because I want to add more data to this. The amount of Reddit threads and the amount of Calguns threads I've seen on this type of video or on this type of product is crazy. I wanted to finally put it to test and show, hey, here are them compared. Here's what I think. Do with that as you please. So let's have a conversation. Let's talk about these grips. Hope you have a great day.